Hi guys, it's been a minute. Welcome to Catch Your Plus on the 404 TV where we bring you entertainment gossip. Take a look into the world of sports and technology. I'm your girl, La Bevitian. Let's take a look at some of the trending stories. In our first story, Cara OBD has been all over the internet for weeks now with the drama of her failed marriage after back and forth allegations by Cora and her alleged ex-husband against each other. Her elder sister is finally speaking up, apologizing for encouraging Cora to stay in an abusive relationship. Moving on, if you are the type of person that parks anywhere you find vacant, you might actually want to rethink that a man has incurred huge expenses after his bands was clamped without his knowledge at the Abuja airport by the airport task force. Oh my, don't cast to airport task force. How would you clamp somebody's car without putting any form of notification? No sticker, nothing, nothing. He didn't put any form of anything. The owner task came and drove his car and the car broke down. He paid them their 25k, let them fix the car. He don't cast, he don't read. Samson Nwachuku, a special assistant to the Delta State Governor Ifani Ikowa, was recently assaulted by an officer of the Nigerian Customs Service. Now, in a video shared by human rights activist Harrison uh, Guanishu, the officer slapped Nwachuku as he repeatedly questioned who he was. Why you? Why you? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Samson, let's go. Samson. Yes, you. Who are you? Samson, let's you? go. Samson, more go. I say you're governor, you're governor, you're governor. No. Let's, let's go, governor. Yeah. In some other interesting new Nollywood actor, comedian and OAP, OK Bakasi, is sharing his opinion on the financial position of Bob Brisky and other cross-dressers in Nigeria. I never see any rich man will be cross-dressed out. Mm. Check now. You see that this poverty is also affecting people's brain like that. Make sure you name any rich person will be cross dresser. RuPaul. Who be that? Do you know RuPaul? For Nigeria here? Yeah? No, 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 no. I said for Nigeria. Well, no. What? <clears throat> Maybe they, they dress in their in the bedroom or something. I never see rich man for Nigeria like this. We get money where they say, ah, this guy in rich so they in a cross dresser. No, I never see. If it be, if it is swing not, both not ways. Not just in Nigeria, but in Africa. Yeah. It be like the poor people. Now then, now then they, when they just stay, 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 they don't see money buy trousers at the tie wrapper. From tie wrapper, they wear skirt. <laughs> or, they, or they dress to, 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 to make money from it. Eh? Or they dress that way to make money from it. Eh, now, now, yes, yes. So, that be the poverty now yeah, why they talk now. Yeah. You go just sit here, because how you want to dress like woman to make money from it, if you nobody know, say, nah, nah, Ross, you won't go do. Mm -hmm. Which is also part of this poverty matter, where they tell you now. So now, see this one, they put Bob, Bob was a poor, broke person before he began to do all those things. Is he a rich person? Mm -hmm. well, I know it can be rich. When well, I see rich, you're not going to know. Rich and now, person will snap picture with money for social media. Nollywood actress and said Tim uh, has revealed in a recent interview that she felt inadequate after discovering she can't give birth to children. What are your thoughts on that story? Leave a comment on the comment section right down below. So, so there was no overthinking when you talked about this. There was no process. Was there? When you say process. Did you, were you, was there a time when you felt shame about talking about it? It's... Not shame. Mm -hmm. Inadequacy. Mm. Mm. Explain that. I felt inadequate as a woman. Yeah. Yeah. Because if the, the message you even getting it from as a woman. I felt yeah. inadequate. So every time it was mentioned I would remember. Mm. You know, so it just it's as happens what it was, but mm. shame mm. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's the least that I would be. I shame. I, I don't. I don't. I, I can't. And I'm thankful for how I was brought up. Mm. We we don't tie shame to mm. to ourselves. Mm. Mm. We live through life. life fully. 
fully. Yeah. And that's how it is. The police in the U.S. state of Texas have launched a manhunt for a green-fingered burglar who mauled his victims in the front and back garden before fleeing. The suspect, named as Marcus Raynard, was caught on CCTV taking a low mourner from a home, filing it up with petrol and then mowing the lawn. Now, the police said that he eventually ditched uh, the lawnmower in an alley and escaped in uh, on food. He is now wanted for the offense of burglary of a building. Now, that's a thief with a sense of cleanliness. That's something you don't hear every day. What are your thoughts on that story? Because it's rather, rather interesting. I'd like to hear it. Uh, moving on. An iconic painting of Marilyn Monroe by Andy Warhol, painted back in 1964 using a famous photograph as inspiration, is now the most expensive piece of 20th century art that is being sold after it was auctioned for $195 million. The auction ended with a sale price of $170 million, which rose to $195 million with taxes and fees taken into account. I mean, it's been a long time since Marilyn Monroe died, but here she is still making money so let's look at what's happening in the world of sports and our first story world football ruling body fifa has ordered the nigerian fed uh, football federation nff to pay former super eagles head coach uh gone Rua about thirty three hundred eighty thousand uh, dollars compensation for ending his contract early now Rua was sacked last december by nff a few weeks to the start of the 2021 african cup of nations in cameroon despite meeting all the targets said by the football house prior to his sack. Now, the ruling uh, by the FIFA player status uh, chamber added that NFF will be sanctioned if Wara is not paid in full within 45 days. Moving on, according to report, it looks like Real Madrid have turned all the attention towards Kylian Mbappé uh, with both sides alleged uh, to officially meet at the end of the season. Now, recently, the Paris Saint-Germain uh, forward paid a visit to the Spanish capital, and there's been a brief scare last week when the Le Parisien reported that the 23-year-old had signed a two-year renewal uh, with uh, Paris Saint-Germain. However, that was quickly refuted by more reliable news outlets as well as Mbappe's mother. That's how you know the news is serious. Moving on. Lewis Hamilton was clearly not happy following an interaction he had with his team at the Miami Grand Prix. Hamilton finished in the seat place with his Mercedes team uh, mate George Russo finishing one place ahead of him. Now at the point in the race with the safety car out on the track, a member of the Mercedes team asked Hamilton if he wanted to change it to a new tire. Hamilton didn't respond well to this insinuating that it isn't his job to make that decision um so he elaborated on this after the race saying that that he did not understand why his team wanted to leave the decision up to him Moving on, Carlos Acra's uh, success has not gone unnoticed by Roger Federer, despite the Swiss ace being sidelined. He has caught the eye of the known other than Roger Federer after his historic triumph at the Madrid Masters, where he became the first man to beat Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal back to back on clay before becoming the youngest ever to leave the title. Now, the Swiss star and his agent Tony Gatsik are now keen to sign the teenager up for the Lever Cup. Let's hope he gets signed because that's a win-win talent plus uh, them making a lot more money. All right. Now, uh, on to those of you that don't know, I hope you're looking forward to the AMVC that's happening this weekend. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click on that notification button and also subscribe to all our social media platforms. Also, make sure to tune in every Tuesdays, uh, Wednesdays, and Thursdays on uh, on Vibes 94.5 FM, 12 a.m. to meet 3 a.m. That's the time for my show. I'm La Bevitian. Thanks for watching. Catch a plus on our forever TV.